second that they're not. They are. They're doing fine. And I don't begrudge anybody in the ag community doing well. I'm, I'm happy the numbers are up. I'm happy things are looking good. Here's my problem. My problem is how the ag community is making money. Specifically, let me, let me kind of go into this. The most recent crop reports suggest that in 2014, we had about 1.3 million acres of hay growing in the state of California. Hay, an incredibly water-intensive, low-value crop. We're talking a crop that per acre uses about five and a half acre feet per year. In other words, all the hay grown in the state of California in 2014 adds up to about 65 to 70 percent of all urban consumption. Now again, hay's cheap. It's 200 bucks an acre foot. That's what you get for it. That up to be clear, that means all the ag production in the state, all the ag production in the state is about 2% of ag revenues. This is a low value water intensive crop. If we just halved the production of hay in our state, we would have plenty of water for all the other needs, for all the other farmers, for all the nut guys out there, and for the urban areas. We could refill our reservoirs. And ag revenues would have still gone up because that tiny little share of ag revenues is less than the growth in revenues from 2013 to 2014. We got to be serious about this. And by the way, I'm not telling the ag guys, I want to take your, your water away. Not at all. <coughs> I want to pay you for your water. Because guess what? A hay guy, he's making 50 bucks an acre foot he's using. San Diego, they're willing to pay $2,000 to desalinate. I, I see a transaction here, folks. How about you pay them $100 for that water? Oh, I got an idea. There's so much value left over, <coughs> we'll put $100 in to restore that land for environmental or recreational use. And I'll throw another 100 in to develop a fund for economic development in those ag communities. The only people who suffer from this particular transaction are Chinese cows and pigs. Because that's where a quarter of that hay is going. It's been put on boats and shipped to China. This is so obvious. This is so good for every part of California to have this conversation. Why don't we? Why isn't it happening? Why can't San Diego pay that hay guy in Imperial County for that water? Because we have 1,300 water districts. That's why. The water districts control the water, but they don't profit. If they sell it, their job is to take the water and give it to the people they've always given it to. To take usage and separate it from ownership is insane. That's not how you manage a scarce resource. So let's, let's take a deep breath, take a step back from the ledge here and recognize a little bit of logic applied to the allocation of one of the scarcest resources our state has can do a whole world of good for everybody in this state. Everybody. But we've got to start with that point. 